Hello beautiful people and welcome back to our final episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla until they release some new content. We're finishing off the Asgard storyline and as you can see we're wearing Thor's cloak so we are in pure fashion. If you missed the last episode we finished off the A Order of the Ancients storyline episode before that. We finished off the story. I mean we are zapping this series. We're dotting the T's crossing our I's. And our final mission is to speak here with Volka and finish off the Order of the Ancient story and finish off the Asgard storyline. Now where we left off, Loki had been basically disowned by the clan for uh, harboring a wolf son because you know Odin, he hates wolves, doesn't like Ragnarok. Let's go see what we have to find. I have the plan you asked for. It took some effort. Good, good. Thank you, Eivor. Of course, girl. You know what I do? I get I get those plants, I give them to you, and then you make them into some trippy potion, and I drink that shiz, and I become a god. It's basically how it works, right? Wow, I really do like that Thor cloak, Here especially in the light. And be careful. This brew will feel as cold as ice on your lips, yet will burn like a fire in your belly. That does not sound like a nice feeling but uh we we've not got much of a choice let's do it wow what potion is this if that's the asgard potion and this isn't that then where are we going i don't know but avor's trip will find out right <laughs> take a seat gather your senses and into the abyss we go Sleep tight there, Eivor. Alright, here we go. We're in Jotunheim, boys. We are in freaking Jotunheim. The realm of the giants, boys. This is not a place to be messing around. I can guarantee you that. Wow. That mountain is ridiculous. The landscape here is ridiculous. And here we come out of the gate. From Asgard to Jotunheim. This is not a place we're welcome, certainly. Wow. Jotunheim. Oh my god. I've not set foot in this room. I must find the witch Angreboda. She knows all that happens here. Alright, sounds good to me. Time to find the mistress. Looks like she's 300 meters away. Do we still have our beautiful elk? Oh, yes, we do. Beautiful. All right. Let's make our way over there. Jeez, look at that that hut on the hills. Funny I called it a hut. It's more like a, a, a stone fortress. I don't even know what to call all this stuff. But, jeez, here we are. It seems that Jotunheim in this world is not completely populated by giants. Which is nice to see. Looks like uh, there's some normal people here. And this that tree is massive, dude. Magic. Not everything is as it seems. Uh oh. Not interested in those people. But I am interested in seeing who lives in this tree. Hello? Ah, we found the house. There we go, boys. We just had to stand in the right spot. Sounds good to me. All right, let's make our way in. Let's see what the lady's got to say. This guard is no crucible for your experiment. No, indeed. It is as a great bond. Please enter. Do not trouble to knock or announce yourself. Sorry about that. Angreboda, I have traveled far to find you. And you are brave to darken my door alone. Where is my lover, the dark fox that slinks between my sheets? Loki has stayed in Asgard to help rebuild the damage from a recent attack. How generous. And entirely unlike him. You used to be much better at lying. 
I am not Loki's keeper. I've come to understand Jotnar magic, your method for moving Hugo from one body to another. The Mead? You seek the Mead? Hirokin! You have long outstayed your welcome. Then I will take my leave. But remember what I said, Angarbova. You will see things my way in time. Their voices are quite interesting. They have like a weird double double echo type effect on them. The mead she spoke of. Where can I find it? A slip of the tongue. Forget what you heard. Do not play games with me, witch. You would sell any truth for the right price. If one had the means to pay it. There is a root called Hag's Claw. It grows at the bottom of a waterfall to the south, at the forest's edge. Bring me three roots from the place where the red moss thrives. Then we will speak of the mead. I will hold you to it. All right, fair enough. Looks like she's uh, sending us on a scavenger mission. Not a surprise. That's what Assassin's Creed is all about, right? Sending us on scavenger missions. No, I'm kidding. But at the end of the day, there is a lot of it. Um, not the most interesting mission that I was hoping for, but uh, hey, I'll take it nonetheless. Looks like we gotta collect some roots, so uh, let's get let's get to it, boys. Thor lends me strength. Why in ages past this damn place the children see children thrice but beautiful. All right, does that give us any information? Um, oh. Waterfall's now- oh! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Waterfall has now appeared! Whoa. Okay, that's not intimidating or anything. Eivor, that was a close call. You know, I honestly have to get used to the fact that we should stop calling ourselves Eivor. Because technically we're not. We're Javi. Wow. Okay, what did she say? She wants three roots. That's what the witch wants. That's what the witch shall get. Wow. I love the mythical setting, man. I'll say it once, I'll say it again. All right. Look at this place. Yggdrasil's great temples reach everywhere in this world. There's a root. I found one. Lovely. That must be the hag's claw Engaborn I spoke of. Wow. Pungent root. It must be axe claw. There should be more around. Alright, let's see if we can find those more, right? We want to get these as quickly as possible. Sadly, we don't have any fast travel routes. So we're going to have to make our way through and for between all of the different places on foot. Wow. One more route should do it. These blue drips from the ceiling are absolutely beautiful. I would love to go in a cave like this. And we've got two or three roots. We're doing what we're doing very well. And where is the final one? I see. It does not wish to reveal itself so easily. Fair enough. I'ma find it anyway. Strange down here. Oh, there we go. I found the final one. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. Now that we have it, are we going to be able to make it quickly? Make it back quickly? That will be enough I mean? for Anger, I should find my way out. This looks like a way out. Boys, this, this uh, might be one of the easiest scav missions we've ever had. I don't want to speak too soon, but... Looks like we're making our way out of here. No problem. Oh, dude, that is satisfying. Gotta love when things just work out well. Now, I wonder if we could have made it in through this entrance. Probably, but we would the never have been able to find that. My stomach. All right, well, before that root turns our stomach, we gotta head back there. So I'll see you guys once we make it there. You know what, as a matter of fact, screw that whore. I'ma just run. And we've got these roots. 
So let's hand him over and figure out more about this me. I've done as you asked. Now, where's my wisdom? Give it a moment to brew. Are those, uh, heads? There. An elixir to ready your spirit. How will this bring me the meat? It will open your mind to the secrets of the world. Just drinking potions day after day. While Young party we wait, animal. let us speak of Asgard. How fared your defenses after the last attack? We, um, we have been weakened by treachery. Without time to rebuild, we, we may not withstand another attack. Wait, I, uh, she gave I, us a I truth did not serum. Mean to say that. I, I feel strange. Hexclaw has a way of untying the tongue. <laughs> I knew she now, tricked us. We drank that way too said quickly. You want the mead, but how badly? How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue, your hand, your sight? I would. I would give all that and more. I would like to see that. Oh no. Loki, what trickery is this? Oh no, you I can't have sapped your strength, Havi. And I will take your life if your answers displease me. Did you think I would not come for you after what you did to my son? Our son. Fenrir. A name I think you have heard before. Yes. In the final reckoning. The wolf Fenrir will be my doom. Now you know. Now you can no longer deceive. Tell me, what will you do with him? Uh, it doesn't look like we have much of a choice. Uh, let's go for the last one. I want to kill him. But I cannot. I swore an oath to you, Loki, and I will not break it. I will not take his life. Fenrir will be imprisoned until the day of prophecy, when we will meet upon the field of battle, as we are fated to. Then we will bind you until that day, as you mean to bind our son. An eye for man. an eye. Odin got tricked there. Didn't see that one coming. The man who sees it all. Oh, no. I see she let you live. You must have done something right. <laughs> let me help you down from there. Uh-oh. No, no, no! Wait, wait. I knew that that was coming. <laughs> We're hitting the slide. Oh man, that's a massive field in front of us. One ripe for the battle. Who is this woman? This is the woman that got kicked out of the hut right as we came. She's the one who told us about the mead. You could have let me down gently. That would presume I cared for your comfort. Then why release me at all? For the same reason you are in Jotunheim. You seek the mead, and I can help you get it. I assume there is a price. I want a small sample for myself. The rest is yours. Fair? Do I have a choice? Of course you do not. The mead is kept by Sutungr and his daughter Gunlother in the vault at their home in Utgardr. The vault is opened only on occasion of a great feast. When Sutungur shares the bounty of his cellar. And it would be a poor host who did not throw a feast for a distinguished visitor. Say, the High One of Asgard. You are not as ox-witted as I feared. I'm 
must bring a mighty gift to Sutungar, if I am to earn my welcome. That idiot drunkard Agir recently lost his cauldron to Sutungar in a wager, but it disappeared on the way to Udgardar. Sutungar would be grateful indeed if I returned that cauldron to him. Seek the tree that wears the scars of the World Serpent Scales. The cauldron would have passed by there. All right, sounds you good to me. You might also bring a gift for Gunlother. There are treasures that would flatter her in Thrimmer's house by the lake near Utgarther. I will bear that in mind. When you have the mead, join me at the Well of Mimir. There I will show you how to escape your doom at Ragnarok. Hey, sounds like a pretty uh, stalwart plan there. I search for the cauldron now. I head for Thrimmer's hall. The cauldron has dug. How didn't he find it himself? Not that hard, my dude. <laughs> There's a freaking crater through the earth leading the way. The trail of destruction leads towards that giant root. Oh wow, what is this? The mitten of the great Jotun Skrimir dropped here long ago. Maybe the thieves took their burden inside. How would they have fit the cauldron through this? I have no idea. But I guess we're about to find out. Keep on squeezing through there, Eivor. Soft mass all around. Hard to imagine this place once fitted a hand. Yeah, it is, right? That This is literally a mitten that we're in. Ridiculous. I wish we could meet a Jotun. I must be careful. An actual giant. Yeah, yeah. Careful, schmareful. We're Eivor the Great. Missing cauldron. But how did they get it into this cave? And how am I to get into the cave? I don't have a key. That was not there before. Whoa. I want to know why it's real in this realm of illusion. Yeah, seriously, my dude. All right, let's see if we can get the assassination on this guy here. Beautiful. That's what I like to see. And then let's collect these arrows for safekeeping. Move this box out of the way. And let's continue on through. Oh, this guy didn't meet the as good a fate as we hope to make. Let's eat up all this food. Read this note. We've got the hot they've got the cauldron. Alright, that's all we needed to know. Let's, let's continue on through. Do you mean to defy me? That must be a way to reach you. Boom. Hey, you, 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 you might... Oh, wow. Look at that cauldron. It's massive. Oh, sucks to suck, doesn't it? Boom. There we go. He's dead. All right, now let's take out this bowman. Bow woman. Either way, you're still going down. That's what I'm talking about. Good work, Eivor. They must have fallen far to live in such cheerless squalor. It seems his sons have been hiding here, awaiting their chance to take it back. Perhaps this is the way there? We climb up here. And then we can move across. Yep, that's got to be the way. It is pretty in here. I like all the red moss. I am a fan. What's this here? A little note. Oh no, it's a key. Good thing I good thing I got that right there. Alright, no no chests to open or anything like that. Bros. Oh! Force my hand. You had to freaking turn around, didn't you? dare set me aflame? That's what I thought. Alright, come on, let's keep going. Let's make it through this place. But things are not always as they seem in your tonight. It's very true. I feel like this thing can be uh, shifted to the There we go. I'm getting the measure of these illusions. Alright, pick that pick that up. Cauldron secured. Should be enough to win Sutungur's favor. I could go to Utgartha now, but a gift for Kunlona would improve.
improve my chances at getting the meat. All right, well, it says that we'll have a better chance if we complete all the missions, so, you know, whatever. I'll complete them both. Why not? Get as much story in here as we can. Let's get back out of here. Definitely a dangerous place to be. Unlock that door, baby. All right, beautiful. So we're going to head over to Term's house. We're just going to make sure that we have the best standing possible. You know, I, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't just, uh, you know set ourselves up with the best standing right we've already put over 70 hours into this game why not just get the uh the best resolute answer right all right here we are at terms house whoa 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 i'm not crazy right those those guys just turned from cats And uh, now they're cats again. Oh, my days. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, we're doing good work, but these guys are hard to take down. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna give it to them. Tough enemies. Beautiful. Oh, that was a sick takedown. All right. There's only two more. But this one over here is so low. There we go. What did you think would happen to you? Huh? Beautiful. All right. House once stood here before ruin came upon it. What is he going to be under this freaking? Is it is it down here? Do we have to go down? I assume we have to go down and swim this way. Maybe not. Oh yeah, there it is. I found it. That's gotta be his house, right? And we continue. They're really taking this house symbolically. Alright, here we are. Inside these caves. Cold enough to freeze the breath in your body. Good thing we're uh, an ace here. Don't have to worry about death like that. Loki often tells the tale of how Thrymia stole Thor's hammer. It seems his account of Thor's rage was no exaggeration. Hmm, how are we gonna do this? Oh, this way. <laughs> I was looking for the path. It appears we already found it. Oh no, maybe not. How are we gonna make our way over there? Oh, we've got to we've got to jump down and get that key there anyway. And get this treasure. I can't imagine what's going to be in here. Ymir's bloodstone. Well, that doesn't sound very nice. I guess they're similar to the bloodstones that we've been finding in uh and Asgard as well. Oh wow, what is that? Uh, Thor's bridal circlet. This would be a gift worthy of Gunnlöder's attention. Perfect. And just like that, we've gotten both the gifts. And it's time to head to the feast, get our mead. I'll freaking see you guys there. I don't know where the man is. Oh, there he is. How did I miss him? He's freaking massive, bro. Look at him. Dude is, dude is towering over us. Bro, look at this man. How do we miss this man? Absolutely no clue. You are small to my eyes, stranger. Small in stature, but great in deed. I am the one they call Javi, the High One of Asgard. And I come bearing a great gift. Your name is known to me. 
But what could mighty Sutunga want that a little thing like you could provide? Your great cauldron, stolen by Hemia's sons. Let this offering be a beginning to the end of our hostilities. Such a small thing, yet so much steeper than it seems. Appearances can be deceiving, can they not? <laughs> well spoken, Harvey. Our people may be enemies, but you have earned your welcome here. Well, thank you very much, my friend. An honored guest has come. Prepare a feast! I hope Beautiful. also to meet your daughter, Gunluda. I have heard much of her skill in the mystical arts. She will be toiling at her work, as ever. But be forewarned, she shuns the company of others. I could summon her to the Beautiful. feast if you like. We might discuss matters of alchemy on the way. That would please me. You will find her in her grotto, up the path, within the circle of stones. Have a care, though. You are safe in my presence, but you wander Utgard at your peril. I will be discreet. Fair enough. And Harvey, be kind. Gunnlother is different from you and I. All right, not quite sure what you mean by that, but uh, we're gentlemen. We know how to how to treat people. And uh, thanks, thank you for giving us a forewarning. But as I just said, we'll be just fine. Heading over to her hut should be uh, quite simple. Looks like it's right here. Even is it that easy? It can't have been that easy. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Got me a bit caught off guard there, but we figured it out. Whoa. I have not seen that one yet. No way into the sanctum. Another illusion. Hmm. How does now? How does this illusion work? There we go. The way inside is revealed. Figured it out. Not exactly sure what we did, but it, uh, we did sure shove that she's. All right, what's this? Got a little letter over here. Heard a voice. No reply. I've called. He answered. Hmm. Interesting. Looks like she is. Uh... Oh, there she is. All right. Gunlod. Gun. Gunloder. Gunloder. Hello. And welcome to the Jack Gunna Valhalla series. We welcome you with open arms, and hopefully you come Gunloda, to us. What is this place? Some time ago, we made powerful magic here. We sought to see all futures, but every road led to Ragnarok. Father does not visit here anymore. He sees no profit in it. But I am not yet ready to give up. She looks half human, half... You are Esir. I am. I have seen images of the future. Heard the voices of those who will come after us. Voices from... in there? Yes. I leave them words. Little packets of possibility. Waiting for unknown ears. Many ages hence. What do these future voices say? They seek the wisdom of the past. They speak of things to come. But even they cannot turn the tide of Ragnarok. There is to be a feast in my honor. Your father sent me to fetch you. No, not yet. Listen. I want you to hear the voices. Are you there, prophet? Can you hear me? Don't hear anything. Perhaps another day. Another thread. Come. We must not keep father waiting. Oh, I'm glad that, that that ended quickly. A lot of people like to string us along. Oh. Are we going to get a... Nope. It's not going to do it. Oh, it is. I knew it. 
It sounds like Bassim. Winter's knife cuts deep, and sky pearls fall thick in this land. It... it is cold out here. <laughs> How can that surprise you? That's one way to say it. I haven't it. been outside in... Oh, I don't know how long. You are devoted to your work. Not my work, my responsibility. My people ignore the disaster bearing down on them. Someone must do something. We hey, have I agree with searched you. for a solution until the burden of it has bent my mind. Ignoring Ragnarok I is not going to do anything for anyone. Clearly as I once did. Well, I've heard there's one method still untested. There is, but to activate it would mean defiling our well of knowledge from which all of Midgard drinks. There is no telling the change it would wreak on humankind. It would bring chaos at the least. And I do not wish to hurt them. Even if it means the death of all Jotna? We will find another way. We must. I don't know if that's gonna be possible, milady, but I'm all I'm all open for ideas. You got any alternative this land ideas? Is quite beautiful. I had all but forgotten. Wow, it is really beautiful here, I can't lie. All right, come on, gunloader. The vault, wherein our greatest discoveries are kept. Such things would do great harm in the hands of evil people. Should let me in that vault. No stone walls will be that us when Ragnarok comes. All we have built here will be swept away. Oh, what a shame. You know, as a god coming here, we, we really don't care what happens to Jotnar. We're really looking after our own interests. You know, this is not Eivor. Don't mix that up. We are Javi right now. So, you know, we have a little bit of a different personality. A little bit, so not a little bit, a lot more selfish, a lot more heartless. Enchantment has And uh, into these guys better not attack us. In fact, I wonder what happens if we attack them. The wind and snow have Do you guys wonder that? Because I do. Oh, it won't let me Soon, attack. We will knock it down. Smart. Because I would have tried to attack pretty much this entire... Dude, imagine we attack one of them, though, and everyone in this room decided to try and kill us. It'd be pretty fun. Alright, gunloader. Wow, this feast hall is massive. Dude, I would not want to face a giant in a, uh, a drinking con competition. I guarantee you that. Alright, come on, Gunlauder. You wanna you wanna walk any faster? Your father is waiting. I'm glad that we did get to see a giant at the end of all this. Harvey! Your feast is prepared. I hope it pleases you. You are generous and hospitable indeed, great Sutunga. None can say otherwise. And see, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred Yurtnar and more. This is an unexpected honor. You have filled it already with mead from your vault, then? No need. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of mead? Do you hear this? <laughs> Harvey fears he will drink us dry. <laughs> my cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of mead. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment. Enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. I wouldn't cross this guy. I'll tell you that much. Harvey, the guests are uneasy. They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I'm ready. Now... We will hear from our honored guest. 
The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Attend. Beautiful. Hmm, who are we? A mighty warrior. Harvey, I'm called, whose axe is never slaked. The blood of my enemies is my meat. Their skulls, my pillow. <laughs> you brag well. They were ever pleased by violence. Thought they would be. Though our people are enemies, I come here to do you honor. For I know that none feast nor fight like Yotna. Your words are well chosen. Thank you, thank you. Hmm. I could go on, but who wants to hear words when there's meat and meat to be had? You know your audience well, it seems. Now we will drink deep and eat heartily. Lovely. Let the feast begin. That's what I'm talking about. What can I do to get them to drink faster? <laughs> we gotta talk the guests into drinking more? Alright, shouldn't be too difficult. Musicians. Where's the music? Somber souls will only sip at their drinking horns. Conjure us a tune to raise their spirits. We are keen, but my harp has been stolen. We cannot play without it. Who would steal a songbringer's instrument? There was a group of children playing around us earlier, with mischief in their eyes. I will get your harp mm. back, and then you will play. Thralls, humans kept in bondage. The mead in the cauldron. Such That's hilarious. All right, well, we got to find these little kids. Oh, what about this this big boy? Show us your might! Beat that champion and we will drain our horns in your honor! Bring me this champion, and I will <laughs> shine my knuckles on his jawbone. Oh, so we're fighting him in in a battle of... of Do not mock uh, me! <laughs> I will not fight a withered old crone! <laughs> if you are too afraid to face her, well, that is that. Let's do it! If she is truly your champion, then so <laughs> be it. I will try not to break her brittle bones, but I promise nothing. Don't be that didn't seem to him. Your against the champion. My lambs okay, we're doing well. You. Dude. Perhaps the bang would be more suited to your strength. Dude, that was easy. That was freaking easy. Indeed, you are mighty. You have fought old age and won. No one has ever done that before. <laughs> Drink to me then, as you promised you would. All of you, empty your horns for heavy. Beautiful. The mead is half gone. Half gone. The Aegir's cauldron can't be drained. Give it to me! Oh. I want to go! Here's Get the kids with the harp. Paws off my that harp does not belong to you, little thief. You should give it back. What are you gonna do? Fight me for it? Why don't you give me a real challenge? All right. You want this hop? Go dive from that me. Climb as high as you can, though. I want a big splash. Watch and learn. Get your grubby paws off my Oh, man, we're jumping in the my mead? Turn. Disgusting. Absolutely you disgusting. With your sausage fingers. All right, here we go. <laughs> but they won't... Ugh. 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 Disgusting, and of course we're drunk. There. Now give back the harp so the musicians may play. Umius, hairy balls. That was amazing. You must be half raven. You wouldn't Who know the half you of such it. Language? Mother? Why? Alright. Beautiful. We've gotten the harp back, so now we can get this guy to start playing the songs and hopefully people Nobody's will drink a little bit more. This is a, an interesting interesting mission to say the least. Right food will inspire thirst. I should head to the kitchen. You're right. Where's the musicians? Oh, I wanna. Looks glum. Is this she the guy? Touched a drop of me. Yeah, she does look glum. Maybe I can raise a spirit. Is this the? Is this the guy? 
Who, who wants no the harp? In the kitchen. Out. Uh, all right. Whatever, bro. Bro. Fine. If you want to be like that, then be like that. Here, look. We can give her our gift now. Maybe she'll uh, drink some mead. Ancient keep of the Yatna. Sutungar holds sway within those walls. Dude, everyone is taller than us. I'm feeling short. I do not care for it. Drink is the heron that steals away one's memory. Some would say it frees the spirit of worry. We call those people drunks. <laughs> <laughs> I see your wit is as sharp as your intelligence. Wit? I was simply stating a truth. Let us play a game. Ask me some riddles. I will see if I can guess them. I enjoy a good riddle. How did you know? All great minds enjoy riddles. You fashion order from disorder, sense from nonsense. You have me at that. Very well, I will play. Give me an easy one to begin. Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. Well, I'm not exactly sure what she even said, to be perfectly honest with you, but ale seems like the... The uh, drink of the occasion. It is ale, of course. A child could have solved that one. Wow. Okay. Would you like another? Sure. Let's do it. All right. I'm ready. Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road and has fared that way before? He kisses hard who has two mouths and goes only on gold. Hmm. Um. She did say two mouths. Could be river, could be arrow. Couldn't be arrow. I just don't think it's river because she was talking about on gold, so maybe a hammer? It is a hammer. Please. Well done. <sighs> I hope that wasn't just a guess. <laughs> it pretty much was. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Okay. I feel good about this. Hit me one. with your best be prepared. Shot. This is the hardest yet. Oh, White haired no. women. Servants too. Bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. Okay, snow on trees doesn't go with islands. Off the bat. And I remember saying white. It can only be swans and eggs. Very clever, Dude. <laughs> Yes. I just guessed my way well, through that like I guessed my over. way through high school and college, bro. <laughs> I feel better. Much, much better. I might even go and have a drink. Beautiful. The meat in the cauldron is almost done. There should be another way into the kitchen. I don't think we'll need it, to be honest. Come, give it a try! Come, give it a try! Alright, let's speak with this man. Oh, is it an archery contest? Dude, look, we're gonna kill that, bro. Our archery skills Greetings, are unmatched. Greetings, Harvey. Will you test your arm at archery? You must hit three targets in a handful of heartbeats. I can shoot the wings off a wasp. Ah, but can you do it while mead adult? Before each attempt, you must take a drink. I'll take your challenge on one condition. For every drink I take, you take two. Ha! <laughs> That's a condition I'll gladly accept. Are you ready? Certainly. Show me those targets. They take a drink and let fly. I need to empty. All right. Well, before we uh, enter archery competition, we're gonna switch back to our our main bow because that thing shoots off faster than anything else. All right. Let's drink. Close your eyes. Your luck will improve. What's the second worst? Fine shot. Did we hit it? Have a drink and try another. Come on. Where's the last? I see the second one. You look a bit wobbly there. Careful. There we go. Steady eye now. We hit it. The last one is the hardest. Yeah, yeah. Hard, smart, dude. You look a bit wobbly there. Careful. Beautiful. We hit it. That's what I'm talking about. The light you arrow is so OP for those tasks. You are a shot, Harvey. Your hand grows steadier with drink where others lose their eye. Another round? Not for me. My belly royals like a knot of eels. And I see three of you. 
I think I should walk <laughs> this off. I, uh, I, I tend to agree with you there. I should tell Sutunga. Dude, Sutinger didn't believe that we could do it, but we have done it. We've emptied them of ale. Of mead, I mean. Great Sutunger, your guests thirst for mead, yet the cauldron is dry. All gone? I never would have thought it possible. Gunnola? Father? Open the vault. Instruct the thralls to bring more mead for my guests. Do they really need more, Father? Several are unconscious already. Do as I ask, daughter. Give them all they can drink. Definitely not wish, wise or healthy. I will open the vault. But that's exactly what we wanted. None will say that Sutunga is less than generous. None will be capable. Yeah, literally. You're gonna knock all these guys out with alcohol poisoning. I don't know, is that even possible? Can Mjolnar get alcohol poisoning? Alright, well, it's time to find and get that mead, boys. We're out of there. Like, underwear. I don't even know if that made any sense. Kind of rhymed in my head. Oh, dude, the vault is open. You see that door? We're quick. We're too freaking quick. Quicker than his daughter. She can't get there first. Alright, boys, once we get in there, though... Are we just gonna drink the mead off the bat? Is that woman who helped us initially, is she gonna be there to drink some too? Because I don't know if we're gonna be able to smuggle any out of here, I'll be honest. Hey, you? You didn't see nothing. Boys, we couldn't have any eyes see us go in here. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a little violent, but uh, I, I realized that, but we had to, had to get it done, boys. We had to freaking get it done. And here we are, inside the vault. Someone's in here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully nobody Honey, against us. I, I heard a noise and... What are you doing here? I knew it was going to be Gunloader. Oh. We got I, a gift. I uh, wanted to speak with you away from the others. I, I brought you something. A bit of a romance. A gift. Remember, we're Javi. Yeah, you're, you're definitely holding that ring in your hand there, Eivor. Javi. Javi. For me? Thank you, but why? Fate, Gunlotha. We are helpless to escape it. And we were fated to be here now, together. You and I? How? It makes no sense. The Nordnir spin their patterns, and we can only surrender. We are entwined, spun together. There's perfect sense in that. Your words, your gift, your eyes when you look upon me. You bewilder me, Javi. I do not understand you. Listen and attend. I will show you all you need to know. Wow. Javi is getting it on with a Yotan. And, uh, her hand is going through his neck. That is how they kiss, boys. That is how they kiss. Sorry, I don't mean to keep ripping at Ubisoft's game, boys, but... Aw, oh, man, Javi, are you really gonna do her like that? One night stand, steal from her father? Oh, it's a dangerous game you play, my friend. Find and get the mead. <laughs> well, that's that's one way to incapacitate someone. She's snoring. <laughs> All right, freaking. Where are we gonna find this mead, boys? This is a massive vault. Oh, this looks like a this looks like a good spot, huh? Oh, it's gotta be this. The mead. By this strange magic, might the ACA evade our doom. Take a sip there, my friend. Oh, he's he's taking a flask. Smart. Very smart, but also Your dumb. Has promised answers at the well of Mimir. 
man. I am so sorry, good longer, that you have been com utterly played. Completely and utterly played by Javi. I'm sorry, he's not a good guy. He's uh, a little bit of a player. But hey, as I said, Eivor and Javi are not the same person. We did not just treat cheat on Ranby, so to speak. I knew that this Harvey. was going to happen. There, see? The robber caught red-handed. I knew it. Betrayer! Deceiver! I treated you as an honored guest, and this is how you repay me? I saw you at the feast, Loki. Small wonder you disguised yourself after all you have done. Someone needed to warn my people of the treachery in your heart. Sutungor, show this Aesir how the Jotnar deal with thieves. Oh, are we gonna have to take him out? Oh, wow. Come. Embrace your death. Oh! Dude, what the freak? No, 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 no. Bro, what? Wow, that was a strong move, boys. What have you done with my daughter? Dude, the only thing I did with Yadada was anything she wanted to do, my dude. I'm sorry. I'm... Oh. Look, dude. Look, she asked for it, all right? She wanted it just as much as we did. It was consensual. Look, bro. And we might have, you know... We might we might have used her to I get past her, but hey, to suffer one such as we you. didn't disrespect her. Actually, I guess Your we did. Beneath my boots. Oh no, I don't you doubt it. With uncountable lives. Oh no! Wow, this guy is just a beast. But we just keep doing unpeckable damage to him. Impeccable, unpeckable is what I just said. Ridiculous. Okay, Jack. We've almost got him, actually. Oh, that's gonna be the end of you, my friend. Good night. Oh, man, I feel so bad for killing her father. I actually liked her. Yeah, how's that feel, Loki? Dude, we just killed the king of a... Of a place in Jotunheim, I cannot imagine that they're gonna be happy. Be thankful it was me who took your meat and not Loki. What I do, I do for the safety of the Aesir and Vanir. You will change countless fates, Harvey, but not your own. We will see. Man, I'm sorry, my Deal dude. With this venomous trickster another day. I'm, I'm, at least I'm glad that he survived. Deal with this venomous trickster another day. All right, boys, we've got the meat. It's time to meet, uh, meet our contact at the Well of Mimir. And uh, I can imagine it's going to be quite a journey getting over there. Where is it? It's uh, it's below us. Okay, so that means I'm definitely not climbing this mountain. The roots of the world tree that I still feed from the Well of Mimir. I am close. All right, boys, here we are. The Well of Mimir. And here's Loki I once again. I underestimated the heft of your balls, Oathbreaker. You dare show your face. Oathbreaker. Seriously. I did to you what you did to my son. Mm-hmm. This is only fair. And Sutunga. What of him? Mm-hmm. Sorry, I just had to turn that light up a little bit. Don't blame me for lack of character. You stole the mead. For the safety of my people, Loki. For Asir, for Vanir, for all of Asgard. But not for Jotnar. Not for me. You let the Jotnar into Asgard. So many dead, all so you could smuggle in your son. He was not safe here. They knew what he was and knew what he would become. Just as you do. I swore to you I would not harm him. That is the truth. That is the truth now. But how it will gnaw at you, knowing that to kill my son will undo your doom. Release him, Harvey. Release Fenrir, or I swear, I will kill you, here and now. You are out of favors, Trickster. You are welcome to try. Oh, shit, bro. Ah! 
Dude, he's just walking around. I wait till Ragnarok when you can die now. All right, there we go. Got some hits in. No water this time, Loki. You have gone too far. I will feed your corpse to Fenrir. Oh yeah, you're not gonna like the focus of Nornir. I can tell you that. He's behind us. Curse you, Loki. We were like brothers once. All right, all right, all right. Hold up. But I was ever the quicker one. Let's see if you fight as well as you lie. Bros, we're not even able to touch him. There we go. Oh my days. I will never forgive that. There we freaking go. Oh, now he's on fire. Right? Beautiful. That's what we needed to get done. Oh, I know you didn't like that. We're gonna heal up. Yeah, you will try, my my uh, my woolly friend. Oh yeah. You might be the strongest. Oh wow, I don't know what we just used. But it was enough to put him down. I will never forgive that. Yeah, seriously. How are you just gonna kill me, bro? We 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 swore to uphold our oath. Are you, are you gonna pull finished? this BS? Curse you, Harvey. Your own distrust has undone you. Now go. And do not show your face again. I cannot be other than who I am. All this was fated. All this will happen again. But you will not be here to see it. Why does he look like Bassin? Do not be so sure of that. The game is not over. The game is never over. <laughs> All right, Loki. Whatever. God. Whatever. Turn into a fish. Swim away, I little fishy. Again soon. All right, we do need some help. Though. We're low on rations right now. But here we are at the well of Mimir. Sorry, our our uh, mount is not going to be able to make it in here. Can't go upstairs. That's a no-no. Wow, and we really know this game well at this point. I got, gotta say. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going on in here? Is that head animated or is it just carved out of wood? Please don't tell me that head is gonna start talking to us. I brought the mead. I have brought the mead. You know I always the probabilities bring the mead. lead us here. The calculations give us hope. Whoa. Speaking with someone? Do you have the mead? I do. Must I drink it now? Not yet. For once you drink, your hugur will take flight and be ever fixed. Drink only when the hour of your death approaches. Then why are we here? When Ragnarok has come and gone, this place will remain. It talks, of course remain it talks. Remain and remember. Wise Mimir, keeper of the well, give me your counsel. You who seek immortality may find it within these waters. But there is a price. As always. The mead is not magic alone. 
It requires the sacred waters of Mimir's well to ferment into its final state. Before you take these waters, you must infuse them with the blood of the acid. To remember you, it must know you. Surrender a part of yourself to the waters that nourish the world tree. Only then will you have that which you desire. Gunlother warned of chaos and change. I would know the cost. Azir blood will infuse this water, and the poor humans of Midgard will be forever altered. What happens then? None can say. This is what the others feared. But then they always cared over much for vermin. And if I make this sacrifice, what then? While death and ruin rage all around, World Tree will keep you. Your body will die, but your Hoogur will live on here. In time, you will be born anew, into a new world birthed from the ashes of the old. Do you vouch for this strangeness? I must believe it, for there is one I love dearly who depends upon it. Okay. And there is no other way? None. It seems I have no choice. You never did. How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue, your hand, your sight? I would give all that and more. No going back now. The sacrifice has been made. Whosoever drinks of the mead, the world tree will remember them. And you? What is your sacrifice? My liberty. Sutungar and Gunlother will not forgive this trespass. They will hunt me now to the edges of the Nine Worlds. What are they to you? We ruled together for a time, a noble triad, as father, mother, and the sacred voice. Six times we tried to blunt the fangs of Ragnarok, and six times we failed. The mead was our seventh. But they feared how it might change the humans for the worse, so they locked it away and banished me from Utgardr. Mm, I see. By your efforts, you have returned to me what is mine. The ashes of my husband. He made his own sacrifice for knowledge. With a few changes to this mead, I may undo old sorrows. Do as you will. I've had my fill of this cursed realm. Yeah, dude, seriously. Let's right get back mind, to Asgard. Heart's ease. Beloved, I will not fail you again. The Jotunheim Ark. Work here is, is now complete. Now to Asgard. To save and it my is people. time to head off back to Asgard, 1,000 meters away. I wonder if we can just. Uh, can we just fast travel there? Yes, we. Well, yes, we can. We just gotta wake up. Alright, boys. Let's freaking wake the frick up. Time to get out of this cursed realm. Wow. Finally woken up. Back in uh, Ravensthorpe. Seems like a, a world apart at this point. Come, settle your mind and tell me what you have seen. Well, Strange then. things, Valka. I'm learning much and seeing more than my mind can understand. Go on. In Jotunheim, I sought and found a mead of incredible power. It promised me a strange effect, 
To drink it would deliver me from death. Shield me from the destruction of Ragnarok. Wow. By this mead, I hope to live beyond my own death. It's too good well to be true, isn't the future. it? Fascinating. Was that your final vision? They have not ended. Not yet. Something compels me to return to Asgard. The elixir is ready when you are. Wow. And just like that, boys, I'm actually going to have to end off this episode. It's getting a little long. I don't want it to drag on too long. I thought we were going to finish the story arc today. Little did, did I freaking know. I guess I should have done more research. Very sorry for the intro. It might have been a little bit misleading. But uh, we're going to wait until the next episode to finally finish off the Asgard storyline. Sorry if that was a little bit confusing. I, I was just as confused, just so you know. So when we come back, we will finish the Bound of Fate. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I appreciate you guys, really. I really do so, so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for always tuning in. It means the world. Once again, as I said, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. You know, we headed off the Jotunheim, did a little bit of Giants work. Javi, not the same as Eivor, slept with that woman. We had a little bit of a boss battle. It had pretty much everything in this episode. That being said, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day, morning, night, whatever time it might be where you are. And as always, peace.